Today, I'm very excited. We've got a recent pickups video. These videos are some of my favorites to make, and I think this is gonna be my best pickup video yet. I'm really happy with everything that I've picked up. All the pieces get me very excited, which is exactly what you want when you spend your hard-earned money on stuff. I'm six foot, about 73 kilograms, and I've got a 30 inch waist. I'll link everything that I talk about in the description below. So if anything tickles your fancy, check out the description box. If you like this video at any point, please do leave it a like. And now that's all out the way, let's just get straight into the pieces. So the first item I wanna show you is this black warm-up sweatshirt from Cole Buxton. I love a boxy fitting sweatshirt with a slight crop, so this one ticks all of the boxes for me. Like all Cole Buxton products, this is a really heavyweight sweatshirt, and I absolutely love the fit of it. It's very simple, but it all comes down to the fit with this one. I told myself this year that I was gonna focus on quality over quantity. I was really gonna hone in on quality over quantity. And this piece is definitely quality. This piece isn't cheap, it is quite a pricey item, but you get what you pay for. But when I'm spending a large chunk of money on a piece of clothing, I normally pick it up in black because it goes with everything and it's really easy to style and I'll get a lot of wear out of it. For me, there's no point spending a load of money on a really loud, bright piece that I'll wear once or twice and get bored of and it's harder to style. I'd rather buy something simple that I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of. But yeah, this is a very simple sweatshirt with a beautiful cut, a beautiful heavy weight to it, and one I'm really happy to own. So the next thing I picked up are these relaxed fitting cargo trousers from Cars. Now I've really been enjoying wearing more relaxed fitting wider trousers at the moment, and I absolutely love the way these trousers sit on me. They're perfect in my opinion. When I saw these trousers on the Cos website, I didn't stop to look at them twice. They had more of a crop fit and they looked a bit weird on the website to be honest. And it wasn't until I saw them in store and tried them on that I fell in love with them. The color was what attracted me to them in the first place. I saw them hanging on the rack, shining in all their glory, and I went straight over and gave them a feel. And the material was really heavyweight and it felt great. The color is like a grayish green and the color and the fit are different to anything else I've got in my wardrobe. So yeah, I had to pick them up. I really wish they had these in black as well because I definitely pick up a second pair if they had them in black, but I think they've only got them in a light gray and I didn't like the light gray as much. But yeah, as I mentioned, I'm really enjoying more relaxed fitting trousers at the moment. And this is a pair that I'm gonna be wearing a lot of this year. I absolutely love them. I've got another pair of trousers to show you next, and it's the Easy Fit Pleats from Izzy Miyake. You may have already seen these if you follow me over on Instagram. I've been living in these over the last few weeks. They're just so comfortable, I don't wanna take them off. Now, although I am enjoying wearing more relaxed fitting trousers at the moment, I actually did wanna pick these up in a more tapered fit with a slight crop. So that's the fit I got with these. I just think the way that I wanna style these trousers works best with this type of fit, but I love all of the pleats from Izzy Miyake, so it was a hard decision. A lot of people have already asked me about the sizing on these, and it is a bit weird. Basically, pay no attention to the waist size, just pay attention to the length. So with these, some pairs I was a size one and some pairs I was a size three. The pair that I picked up, they were quite cropped already, so I didn't want too much of a crop. So I went for the longest option out of the options. So I went for a size three. But the waist could probably fit a size 26 inch waist all the way up to a 40 inch waist. So really don't worry about the waist size. Just look at the length and pick the best length for you. These trousers go with absolutely everything in my opinion, and they look great with absolutely everything. And that's exactly why I wanted to pick them up. I can wear them with just a sweatshirt or a hoodie, or I can just as easily dress them up and wear them to really dressy events. So they're a really versatile trouser. The next item I picked up is a pair of boots, and you don't see me in a pair of boots very often but I really like this pair. If you saw my last video on boots, then you would have seen these already, but if you didn't see it, don't worry, you're seeing them now. These boots are from a sustainable brand called Veyron, and they're a French brand, and they're making big moves in the industry at the moment. So much so that I think they're gonna blow up in 2022 and become a really popular brand. Also, Kanye West was seen in a pair of these recently, so it's probably only a matter of time before these start flying off the shelves. But yeah, they're a very simple combat style boot, and I really like the silhouette. I love that chunky sole and that slim upper. I just think it works really well. I think my only worry with this pair of boots is that they're made from apple waist. So yeah, they're not made of leather, they're made of apple waist, the fruit. I don't know any other pairs of boots that are made out of apple waist, so I don't know how well these will hold up. 
and the brand are relatively new. They've only been around since 2020. So hopefully they'll hold up all right, but only time will tell. They look well made and they feel well made and they're very comfortable. So no complaints so far, but yeah, we'll see how we go. But anyway, I'm not gonna go into any more detail in this video about these boots. I've already talked about them in the last video. So check that out if you wanna hear some more, but let's move on to the next item. Now I've been wearing a lot more jewelry these days and I've been slowly building up my collection. Now Serge Deneem reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to try out any of their pieces. I already owned a necklace from Serge Deneem, which I absolutely absolutely love. I wear it every day. I've got it on now. So I wanted to give their rings a try. My favorite ring that I picked up from them has got to be the Hallmark ring. It goes great with my necklace, my Hallmark necklace. And I just think it's a really clean and simple piece that works well with everything. I have actually got a video on my channel all about how I style my jewelry. So if you want to know more about that, check out that video and you can see the rings a bit more in that video too. Now we've got a non-fashion item next, even though I still think they look great, but it's the Sony XM4 headphones or the XH1000 XM4, I think they're called. These headphones are expensive, probably the most I've ever spent on a pair of headphones, but they're worth every penny in my opinion. The noise cancelling and the sound quality on these is absolutely incredible, and I can't imagine not owning a pair now I've got them. Music is so important to me, I listen to it every day, so having a product that provides a pleasurable listening experience is an absolute must. But if you don't want to spend that kind of money on a pair of headphones, then I have heard that the threes are very similar. So I just wanted the fours because they had certain features that I wanted, but if you don't want to spend that much, it might be worth looking at the threes. But I can't recommend this pair of headphones enough. They're probably the best pair of headphones I've ever listened to. So if you're on the fence, just take the plunge. I don't think you'll regret it. So the next item we've got is a cap. I love wearing caps at the moment and one of my favorite record companies released one of their own, so I had to pick it up. So this is my Norman Records cap and Norman Records are an online record company based in Leeds here in the UK. My dad actually put me onto Norman Records and I've been using them ever since, so it's really nice to have a cap from them. The guys that work there really know their stuff, they're always really helpful as well and their music taste is pretty similar to mine, so I always love to listen to their recommendations. I think they're actually the only email newsletter that I look forward to receiving. But yeah, I love to support companies like this, and it's also nice to buy products that have some meaning to you. So yeah, I absolutely love this cap. And for those cozy days, I picked up a new pair of gray sweatpants from A Day's March. So the brand actually gifted me these along with a black overcoat, but I think you've probably seen the black overcoat quite a lot by now. I've been wearing it a lot on Instagram and in real life. I do wear the products that I show off in real life too. But yeah, I haven't shown off the sweatpants that much. So I thought I'd show them off in this video. But like everything I've had from a day's march, the quality on these sweatpants is absolutely fantastic. They're made from a heavyweight organic cotton and they are pretty heavyweight. So they're gonna be perfect for the colder weather. Now it says on the website to size down a full size because they run big. They do run big, I did size down and they're still quite generous. But that's the look I wanted to go for with these. I don't know why they don't just make them true to size, but that's the way it is. But these are gonna be perfect for lounging around the house. Everyone's wearing sweatpants a lot more these days. And because these look quite smart, they're gonna be easy to dress up as well. So if I need to go for an emergency milk run, for example, don't worry, I'm covered. I don't need to change my trousers. I can just head out the house in these. So that's all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked anything from this video, don't forget to check out the description box. It's all linked down there. If you like this video, please do drop it a like. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See ya.